Hey kids, this is Ivan. How you doing? Robert, the narrator, put out another great video, which I will link below. And in his video, he talked about a couple things, really three things, I think. Um, and one of them was working the ref. And so this is sort of a response or a continuation of the dialogue uh, for that part of his video. And so uh, I'll get right down to it. But watch his video. It's great. And it's uh, pretty cool. They should have some Barry White music playing in the background. It's pretty awesome. Uh, almost lost his PG-13 rating there for a second. Pretty cool. <laughs> Anyhow, you know, if you watch my uh, channel, you know that I'm a, I'm a theater of the mind guy. And if you're not really sure what the heck that means, that means like, you know, I, I like to play role playing games where we don't have like a battle mat or a grid or like a bunch of minis down on the table uh, where, you know, you're taking five foot steps and everything is, you know, all the ranges are exact. Uh, that sort of thing. It's, it's more like we discuss what's going on in this shared space and you have an idea of, you know, okay, John's standing over here and, and you know, Hector's over there and this is what's going on. And, and it's, it's this whole theater of the mind. We're all imagining our own version of what that scene looks like, but we all pretty much know where everything is. So that said, you know, as Robert's talking about one of the more common things that'll happen every once in a while, where, you know, a player will, when something goes down, the player will declare that they didn't understand exactly where they were standing and in fact wherever the safest spot was that's where they were standing that's that's what they that's where they really meant to be is the farthest place from where the bomb went off or you know whatever went down that wasn't so uh, so nice and so you know i, I laughed in, in recognition i've certainly played with those people uh, it's kind of funny but you know you know that said you know sometimes you know as much as i don't like to use any kind of uh you know the grid the battle mat all that sort of thing Sometimes, you know, it's helpful for me and sometimes for other players to kind of have some kind of little token, you know, of, you know, your your uh, character and perhaps some of the opponents they might have if it's, a, if it's a battle scene or whatever's going on. And so you don't necessarily have this battle mat and this grid, but maybe you kind of like, you know, you know, sketch out something on a piece of paper or, you know, on the table or, you know, whatever. It's like, OK, well, it looks sort of like this, more or less. Here's the stump. Here's the rock. You know, all right, is Fred near the rock or near the stump or what's what's Fred doing? And so that way, you know, you can kind of uh, uh, have a better, uh, you know, uh, understanding where everybody is. So, you know, I'm, I'm not against that. I've, I've, you know, it's been useful for me. And so you don't have to use, you, you could certainly use standard minis. I got this, I think, you know, on a, at some con I went to for cheap. I got a couple couple miniatures for nothing. But you can always use something. You can always be uh, this little Disney, I think it's a little Frozen girl there, a little Frozen princess. These uh, little bok choy boys that I got out of a, a machine at a local diner. Love these little guys. <laughs> well, um, one of my favorites, though, the, the, the board game token, personally, personal favorites. Um, you can uh, even be one of my old soldiers from when I was a kid. This this is a, I think it's dead Nazi soldier. So he lays down like that. Probably not the best token. Or use dice, whatever. Um, and so that, that helps. I mean, it certainly helps me as, as a game master. I, I, I will... Uh, I'll let you know some of my shortcomings as a uh, as a game master when it comes to s scenes like that is I lose track of where things are after a while because there's I've got so much stuff to keep track of. I'm you know I'm pretty good as a player knowing where I am, knowing, knowing how many opponents I'm facing. You know I, I you know I'm I'm paying close attention to the scene as it unfolds, what, what, the, what the other players are doing, you know, all that sort of stuff. Uh, because, but I have just really one thing I really have to worry about. I, you know, it's for whatever reason, it's easier for me to visualize where everything is. As a game master, sometimes I need a little help because, for, for whatever reason, as I'm handling, you know, um, dealing with this resolution and that resolution, and kind of, you know, cycling through the players, I'll, I'll lose, um, I'll lose a count of who's who's got what opponent on them, all that kind of stuff. I can write stuff down on a piece of paper, but sometimes, sometimes it's, it's a lot easier to just say, you know, okay, well, some somebody's this. Disney princess and I've, I've got some dice and I'll just put a few dice next to each person that's going to be their opponents and maybe I'll, maybe I'll use that old trick where I put a different side up one you know one two three four five six that sort of thing and maybe I'll just put it in front of each player where you don't actually have a grid going on but I'll just kind of throw those two down there so I remember that you know that you know Hugo's got two opponents that he's that are trying to kill him at this moment and if he kills one of them we'll remove one of those dice just a little crutch for me you know I've also, awful, uh, yeah, off also <laughs> found that it's hard to talk sometimes. Also found that, uh, you know, I, I need to, uh, I need to have a little bit of help sometimes in terms of initiative orders or, um, you know, tracking, uh, tracking things like, uh, I don't know, like hit points or whatever kind of mechanic uh, the game's using. Sometimes, uh, you know, 
you know, frantically scrolling on a piece of paper and I can lose track pretty fast. So like, you know, I, sometimes I need to print out myself some little cheat sheets that, that help me through stuff like that. I, I've noticed, you know, what my, what the areas where I need crutches, the areas where I need a little bit of help. And sometimes even if I ask a player, hey, could you keep track of this? Can you make sure that I'm not uh, way off base on what the initiative order is or something like that? I don't, I don't think it's, uh, there was a time when I was very reluctant to ask anybody else for help. But, you know, at this point, I'm okay with doing that. You know, I, I know uh, through experience, you know, where I excel and, you know, where I, you know, I'm pretty sure that I'm always going to be a little bit, a uh, little bit behind in this area. So what about you? What areas, as you're running a game, do you kind of need a little bit of, of help with? You know, where do you need a little bit of a crutch? That'd be kind of interesting to me or interesting for the dialogue and you know getting back to robert the narrator's original video you know a lot of times it's a lot easier you know when jimmy says you know he was near the stump and you draw a little, the little stump and a little boulder down the ground then the bomb goes off near the stump you know and of course at that point the player will say oh i thought that one was the stump i i oh, I'm, I'm sorry i'm near the boulder <laughs> no matter what with that player they're going to make sure they're in the spot that the uh, farthest from the detonation